Well, what do you know? Another episode of Blackboard Rules. Let's roll the intro. Hey, Bruce here for Blackboard Rules. Glad to see you back. Today we're going to be looking at uh, crossovers in uh, speaker boxes, whether that be uh, like floor monitors or uh, front-end cabinets. Um, in a lot of the older models, the manufacturers, instead of putting in an actual fuse to protect the horn uh, in the crossover, they would put a uh, little light bulb in, uh, the kind of light bulbs that you may use for like a car tail light. So we're going to have just a quick tutorial of me taking one out and um, showing you actually how to replace the bulb. It's a very simple process and I hope it works for you. Okay, so here we have our, our speaker box and what I've done is I've uh, just taken the, the screws out of the plate here that houses the uh, speak on input and the two TRS or quarter inch inputs for uh, the speaker cables. So what we're going to do is very gently um, pull this out and I'll just turn it toward the camera for you a little bit. So this is the this is the crossover for the speaker box, okay? So uh, crossovers are, are very simple units. All it does is it takes the, uh, the input from the amp and it just splits it into high and low. This is just a two-way box, okay? Now here is the bulb. And like I said before, the bulb is, um, yeah, that's better so you can see it better. Uh, the bulb is used as kind of a fail-safe for the horn, so in case there's too much power that travels in here, instead of it, instead of it blowing the horn, um, it's just going to take this guy out here. Okay? So, I've gone out and I've bought some replacements, okay, for, um, for the crossover. And these are just, uh, all they really are is they're 12 volt um, car lights. That's all they are for, for like tail lights on cars, etc. And so we're just going to swap the bulbs out. And it's a very simple process. Let me just uh, see if I can open the packaging here without, without too much problem. There we go. Okay. So basically that's the, uh, that's the lamp right there. And so what we're going to do is we just uh, take this and we give it, on this one, we give it just a little push and a twist and it comes right out. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera very well, see it focus, but the filament is actually broken, like it's, it's burnt out or, or whatever. So it's actually failed, it's protected the, um, the actual speaker. Now, I'm just replacing it with a brand new one. So, all I do is I put the new one in. Like so. And give it a twist. And now, I've replaced that. So, um, we're going to just quickly test it out and see if the crossover works and then we'll replace everything else. So, uh, just give me two seconds here. Anyhow, so uh, I've tested it out and the crossover works perfectly again, which is uh, really awesome. It's a cheap fix. Uh, the, the bulbs, I think I paid about uh, $6 for the pair. So um, pretty cheap considering that, um, you know, I don't have to replace the uh, horn on this, on this box. Um, also, uh, just to let you know that um, I could have just bypassed this light when it burnt out. I could have just, uh, you know, rewired it so it bypassed the actual bulb itself. But the bulb is there to protect the horn in case it gets too much power. Okay? If you just uh, bypass the bulb and go direct, 
uh, you do stand the chance of blowing the horn and then we're talking more money so I consider this a real cheap and uh, easy fix so anyways I hope that helps you in case you have uh, a pair of older cabinets that uh, maybe the horns not working properly on anymore definitely I would uh, say that you can do this very easily at home just pop the uh, plate and uh, if it's got a bulb in it for a little fuse uh, check it out and it can be a really easy fix so I hope you got something out of today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it. That way you'll get notified every time we put out a new video. Once again, I'm Bruce for Blackboard Rules and we'll see you in the next video. So let's roll that outro.